Hello and welcome to Manifesting with La Luna. I am clinical hypnotherapist Melanie McCool, also known as the entrepreneur's hypnotherapist. And today we're going to do a hypnosis process that is designed to help you to plant your seeds of intention, to put into play those things that will manifest in your future that are in alignment with your boldest dreams, with your juicy dream life. And so many people are familiar with working with the moon, but they typically consider working with the moon around full moon. And I'd like for you to get into the practice of working with the new moon and the full. In fact, in my ancient hypnosis, Modernized for Entrepreneurs, it's exactly what I outlined for you. It's these practices that you can put into play in your life that will help you to supercharge the, the progress, but in a very natural way that feels well in flow. And so working with the new moon, we consider our what we want to manifest. This is a perfect time for setting those intentions for what we get to have in our lives next, right? And then at the full moon, we consider leaving behind those things that are, well, causing the bumps in the road, or as I like to say, the foot on the brake, <laughs> right? For progress. And so working on the new moon, here we are. It's uh, tomorrow at 514 Eastern is the new moon in Scorpio. And this seems to be kind of a heavy one for people. I mean, even my own mom has asked me, what's up with the moon? And that's quite a new question for my mom. She asked me if it was full because of the heaviness that she's feeling. And I actually feel it in my body as well as we do since we're, well, we're mostly water, right? So this moon, it does have a impact on us biologically. It's not a question. And there's there's a reason why we actually have words like lunacy, right? And why back in the day, you could literally be let off the, <laughs> the hook legally if you committed a crime around the full moon. But this new moon in Scorpio, it feels very much like that for many people. And I, I feel it as like, it's like my body's angry. And if you are familiar with Eckhart Tolle's work, and he does talk about how we carry this, you know, this, uh, the heaviness of the world in our bodies, and particularly as women, and how we can use the cycles. Now, our cycles of our menstrual cycles, which are very much, can be very much in tune with the moon. We can use the cycle as the moon as well to release what I think of as psychological time. And you can release the burden that you're literally holding in your cells. And you could be holding in your cells the burden of trauma for generations. We are. That's what epigenetics actually is showing us, if you're not familiar. It's literally the way that our DNA is read is passed down generation to generation. And so you are carrying this burden. And so I want you to consider that you get to be empowered in this time, that this isn't something that you have to be, you know, blown by the, by the cosmos. No, it's a, it's a time to feel and go, oh, yay, I get to work through this with this. Okay. So, because so many people, they blame, you know, they blame the stars, they blame retrogrades, they blame the freaking moon. And you know what? I take radical responsibility. I'm going to ask you to do the same thing because, because you can feel it, <laughs> right? It, that should be a signal to you to do something for you, to be self-supporting, to love yourself enough to move. Look, I promise you that if you actually engage in this process, the process of literally 
using the moon as an accountability partner that you can, well, take quantum leaps and what we call self-enlightenment, okay? And enlightenment doesn't necessarily mean some far out place where you'd be like sitting on some cushion out there like the Buddha under it. You know, that's not what we need. Enlightenment literally means like having your mind <laughs> in a in a incredibly incredible state right here, grounded on planet Earth. Okay. So I'm a clinical hypnotherapist. Yeah. Uh, I've also been an entrepreneur for more than 20 years. And so you may be wondering why the heck am I so intent on, on, you know, bringing this, what is ancient ritualistic type hypnosis to you? Why, why am I doing that? And it's because I've learned that that, you know, rational thinking mind, the one that has gotten you this far in life, it can only take you so far. And that actually, when you tap into ancient wisdom, when you slow down enough and roll with the natural cycles, that, well, you can actually go faster, but in a way that doesn't take your energy. You can slow down to speed up, but in a way that is that you couldn't have fathomed. And so the promise that I make to you here in Pro Program for Prosperity in this group is that you, by committing to practice of slowing down, going internal, allowing yourself to, well, at the new moon, plant seeds of intention, at the full moon, drop the baggage that's holding you back from achieving those intentions, that your life can totally change. And I'm my promise here is that as you commit to yourself and these practices, that you'll see a, a very different life than what the world has taught you. The world has taught you hustle, grind, to go. And I'm teaching you that life is for you. And when you roll with the natural cycles of life, you'll find that to be the truth and that you can take quantum leaps when you slow down. Imagine that. And I would love for you to let me know if you're watching here live, where you're coming from. And if you're currently in the lounge, I want you to, you know, you can comment lounge in, uh, the prosperity lounge that is. Um, if, and then if you're one of the unreasonable dreamers, drop it. Or if this is your first time here with me live in hypnosis or watching the replay, let me know. It's a special time right here and right now for you. And if you are watching the replay, know that this is potent. It's potent for about two weeks uh, because we've got an eclipse coming up, right? And actually, uh, it's important to note that new moons are associated with setting manifestation goals, with intentions, with planting seeds, right? Um, so they'll come to harvest, to fruition, actually by the full moon in the same sign. So that's six months down the line, my love. You can go and look at that what, what that looks like. And... Uh, this is actually the last real opportunity around a new moon that we have because the next one includes an eclipse, which isn't really necessarily the best time for setting manifestation goals. So this is actually really an incredibly powerful time. At the same time, we're dealing with Scorpio and Scorpio feels heavy, <laughs> right? Scorpio is awfully emotional. It's the dark side. It's the shadow side. It's the... It's the pieces of yourself that and are that you know you try to or have tried to push down, and that's why it feels heavy in the body. It's why your body may feel angry, <laughs> right? My body's angry. My brain's like, all right, nothing to complain about. Life is freaking amazing, but my body's still feeling it. Any of you feeling it? <laughs> All right. So because of because of the special circumstances that we're in, I've prepared a special hypnosis for you. 
And this is designed to help us to leave some of that baggage behind so that we can plant those seeds of intention. And so if you've, if you've prepared for this, wonderful. I want to give you, if you haven't prepared for this, I'm going to give you just a couple of instructions, super simple for you to prepare for the hypnosis experience you're about to have here is one, consider that this moon is perfect for releasing shame. And since this is program for prosperity and my work is designed, I work with people in two ways. Uh, one is we do group coaching around self hypnosis for prosperity and prosperity. It's not just money, it's life, right? But uh, prosperity and money being the, the entry here. So consider the shame that you want to drop around the way you've dealt with money before. And the other way I work with people is with hypnotherapy. So hypnotherapy is us working one-to-one -one, and that would be a very bespoke and curated experience. It's based on your particular, you know, your life, <laughs> your timeline and the outcomes you're looking for. Very, very much uh, specific for you. And combine that with the self-hypnosis work, <laughs> we're, we're talking real quantum leaps. So as you start here, we're going to work with shame, shame around perhaps not feeling like you're as far along as you should be and whatever that looks like for you, but also shame that might be associated with money traumas. And some of the things that come up for my clients are not handling well, money well, uh, debt and, you know, money traumas like literally recession stuff like in 2009 things, um, bad business decisions, failed businesses, uh, uh, you know, the list goes on and on. So shame around money is what we're going to let go of today. Okay. Um, and then on the other hand, I want you to consider over the next 60 days, 60 to 90 days, what is it that you'd love to have as your outcome. And I don't want you to just have one number. And it met because that's probably the same number that you've been using for so long, right? I want you to come up with something that feels like a bit of a stretch, but but you're like, yeah, I can make that happen. And then I want you to come up with three numbers around that number. So the number that you came up with, then just a little bit more, and then ooh, the actual stretch. Okay. So do that. That's your goal. Bing. And as you, as you set yourself up in this way, um, know that you're going to want to come back because on November 17th, I'll be doing prosperity mapping, which will go very much deeper into this type of soul goal setting, the type of goals that are actually achieved when you get your subconscious mind on board versus the way that things typically feel, <laughs> right? And so have it feel good that desired outcome and uh, prepare yourself to let go. That's, that's it. That's all we're doing here now. And so if you're ready with that, let me know you're ready. And a uh, little disclaimer uh, with hypnosis of any kind, it's you just don't do this at all if you're driving or moving or operating heavy machinery or anything at all. Just don't. Just come back later. Okay. And if you'd like to recording, then drop me a comment or a moon emoji. <laughs> and I'll make sure that Anna gets you the recording of this process. Okay. Uh, and last but not least, if you have any psychiatric condition that would prohibit you from doing hypnosis, don't. It's completely the safe and natural experience, except for people who like have epilepsy or specific types of psychiatric conditions that have them disconnect from reality in ways, right? And so with that, <laughs> having said this, very natural. 
And we're, we're only going to give your mind things that you want it to receive. Okay. So you can feel very safe. I'm going to. So now you can take some time to yourself, knowing that nobody wants or needs anything at all. Just no distractions. And you can allow yourself to get comfortable with your arms and legs uncrossed. You may choose to put one hand on your heart, another on your belly, or just sit with your palms facing up. And just take a nice deep breath in. And as you let go slowly, you can allow your eyes to close right on down, only as quickly as you're ready to go deeply into trance. Now, taking another deep breath into your belly, holding that at the top just for a moment and letting it go slowly. Just another time, deep breath into your belly and let it go slowly. And as you allow that deep relaxation to develop in your body, you can continue these slow breaths and focusing on the breath. You can allow yourself to breathe in calm and just breathe out any tension. And you can breathe in confidence and breathe out doubt. As you allow yourself to sink down deeper and deeper with every word that you hear and every breath. Imagine there's nothing you can do about that now, just sinking deeper and deeper, more completely into hypnosis with every breath. And as you do that, you may notice things you didn't notice before, like the way your back feels against the chair, a temperature in the room, or that your heartbeat has slowed. Because the more you relax, the slower your heart beats. As your heart beats slower, you relax more and more into this lovely state of deep, deep relaxation. And your body can just let go even more now, 10 times deeper, 20, 100 times deeper still, dropping down now through space and time, allowing yourself to just let go, marveling at how the more you let go, the easier it is to relax. And the more you relax, the easier it is to just let go. Letting go of all tension, all worries, all presuppositions, all expectations. Knowing that as the body relaxes, the mind relaxes. And as the mind relaxes, that body is relaxing more and more. That's right. And as you find yourself there, relaxed, you can imagine that to your left, there is a very old suitcase. You can tell it's very old because it's that old material, 
has those satisfying clasps on the top to open it. it. May even have some patches on it. And you can pick up that old suitcase now and just place it right on your lap. As you open it, you see that within this suitcase, there's a gift. And you know it's your gift because it's wrapped just as you would love to receive a gift. It has exactly the type of wrapping and bows. And you could take that gift and put it off to the side on the right now. As you move it, you notice that in the middle of this box, there's a massive hole, a massive gaping black hole. And it's a vacuum. And right now, you can allow all of the guilt, the shame, the shock, the trauma, the anger, resentment, overwhelm, jealousy, comparisonitis, fear, shame, guilt, all of the scenes in your beautiful subconscious mind without you even seeing. It's as if they are being pulled down, sucked down into this black hole. Imagine there's nothing you can do about that now. But all of the shame, especially the money shame, is being pulled down, sucked down being pulled out of your mind, pulled out of your body. That's right. Take a deep breath. Exhale, you may even see this energy leaving your body, being sucked down into the dark, into the hole. That's right. And just when you know that there's enough, enough has left you, you can contentedly, knowing that this hole is available to you anytime, you can contentedly close that suitcase, snap those clasps. And now I want you to take that suitcase and find yourself standing in a field, massive field. There is a fence. And as you look around, you realize you're actually in a ball field. The fence would be the home run fence. And you find yourself standing here with that suitcase in your hand with all of that stuff heavy in it. And as you pull it behind you, you can feel the weight of it. And in a moment, I'm going to ask you to toss that suitcase. And I want you to understand that you have all of the strength, all of the will, all of the ability. It's always been in you to toss the baggage. And as you pull it behind you, as you feel as if you have to wind up, I want you to just take a deep breath in. And one, two, three. Let it go, launch it. And as you do, you realize it flies further, faster, harder than it possibly should. That all of this energy is beyond that suitcase, that baggage going up, 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 up into the atmosphere. It's going up, flying high, higher and higher now, higher until it explodes. It's like it hit something in the atmosphere. It blew up. And as you watch, you can see like stardust, beautiful sparkles falling, gold, violet, pure white. And you see sparkles drift down and down and down. They drop onto the soil. 
And you can imagine you just zoop right there, you're right where it's falling. And you recognize you're in a garden. And knowing that matter can neither be created nor destroyed, only transfer to transform, you now understand in your soul that all of that is now compost. It's fertilizer, wisdom. And it is fertilizing a garden with seeds you've already planted and more rows are tilled for you to plant. And you can see this garden. You can see that some of the seeds are already beautiful, fully leafed out plants producing fruit. And some of them are just starting to sprout. Some of them are needing more tension. And then there's more rows. And you can know that this garden has been fertilized by your wisdom. As you find yourself here, standing in this garden under the dark moon, you can feel a sense of hope, of enthusiasm, and optimism for the future. And as you allow yourself to rest in this place, you look beside you and there's your gift. And you can go ahead and open it. Inside, you'll find a beautiful leather bound book. And on the cover, it says health, happiness, and success. And as you pull it out of the box and you hold this treasure in your hand, you can feel the richness of the leather and you can even smell it. And you'll find a very special pen in the box. I want you to pick up that pen and as you open it up to the very first page, at the top of that page, you'll find that you've already written one very powerful word in capital letters, desire. And you breathe in, breathe out, knowing that as you follow the desires of your heart, health, happiness, and success are your birthright. Follow the desires of your heart. You are loved, you are supported. All is well. Now I want you to consider taking that beautiful gift and bringing it somewhere into your home, perhaps putting on a shelf of great importance, someplace that you'll remember to pull it down, to love yourself enough to ask for the desires of your heart, to ask and to take the action to allow. Now, and as every day gets better and better and you move on from one accomplishment to the next, you can allow this to be true. Imagine there's nothing you can do about it now. Health, happiness, and success are yours. That's right. And you can allow this vibration to settle, to remain with you, a higher vibration. This higher vibration, it gives you an increasing ability to set clear intentions and manifest. This is yours. You can take a nice deep breath in. Let it go slowly in a moment. I'll count to three. On three, you'll open your eyes. You'll feel fully alert. 
enthusiastic, determined, considering what your next right steps are to lead your juicy dream life. This wonderful feeling will stay with you long after the session ends. And so with one, two, and three, you can open up your eyes, come back. Feeling fantastic. And if you've got a piece of paper next to you, which I hope you do, I would love for you to just write down what you know now that you didn't know before. And if you would like to, you can share it with us. And if this group seems too big for you to share, I don't know why, because we all love you, <laughs> then consider being part of the Prosperity Lounge, where we are, we are one incredibly supportive bunch. We're here to support your juicy dreams, unreasonable dreamers, all of us, every single one. So if you'd like to know more about ancient hypnosis modernized for entrepreneurs, why manifesting with the moon can be an incredibly powerful way to take quantum leaps in your journey on your, your juicy dream life, then look to the comments of this for a link that will help you to experience more of that in your life. And uh, I would love to just thank you for being a part of this new moon hypnosis experience manifesting with La Luna. I'm Melanie McCool. I look forward to helping you to realize your dreams. With that, I'll say. Whew.